What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nash here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got some more WWE news for you guys, including, including a few, in, including several potential TLC matches scrapped, as well as, um, as well as two title matches set for December 18th on NXT. So we kick this, and also I almost forgot, and also, um. And also a triple threat match set for next week's NXT. So we kick things off with that. So this whole thing has actually started when 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 Tommaso Ciampa and Finn Balor returned to NXT. You know, Finn, you know, for you know, for you know, since since Ciampa's injury and since Balor's. Um, uh, match with Bray Wyatt at SummerSlam back in August. Both both men were chasing after the NXT Championship, but so did Keith Lee. If you guys remember this past Wednesday on on NXT for those for those who didn't watch it, Keith Lee pinned Adam Cole, the NXT Champion, and William Regal was like, "You know what? We got this. Let's do this." So. So this coming Wednesday next week on NXT we will see Keith Lee, Tommaso Ciampa and Finn Balor in a triple threat match where the winner will go on to the following week on December 18th and challenge Adam Cole for the NXT title. This is a very interesting development because if you guys remember both Keith Lee and, and Tommaso Ciampa have a great deal of respect for each other even with what happened at, at, at War Games. Even with what happened at War Games, this is going to be a very interesting matchup because because I know I know for a fact that Finn Balor will exploit that friendship and use it to his advantage. So odds are, so odds are we could see Finn Balor win the match and then just go go on to face Adam Cole. But even if that were to happen, it doesn't matter. We all know you. We all know. It doesn't matter who wins the triple threat. Either way, Kyle, Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong will get involved. They will get involved and just literally cost and literally just hand the victory to Adam Cole. Um, so that was actually two different two pieces of of news in one. Wow. Um, so but again, but again, as I said. Uh, yes, Adam Cole will be will be defending the title, um, defending the NXT title, but no one knows who. Um, I honestly, honestly, it doesn't. Uh, but but you know what though? Honestly, it doesn't matter who wins because I know for a fact that this is going to be a very great matchup. Um, this is going to be one hell one hell of a match. Three different. Three different contrasts of styles. Keith Lee is more, you know, is more is agility and power. So Tommaso Ciampa is more more of a technical style, and then Finn Balor, well, he's Finn Balor. Um, so I can't wait for that match to take place. Also, we also know that there that as as I said before, two title matches on NXT for December eighteenth will be taking place. The next one will be Rhea Ripley challenging Shayna Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship. This is going to be a very interesting match because these two, because th because this is actually the first. I, I think I think, yeah yeah I think this is the first one on one encounter of in, you know involving involving these two women, and I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be a Smash Mouth style because Shayna Baszler is. You know, Kashina Baszler, she's not. She's called the submit the submission magician. She knows pre practically almost every submission in the book. Rhea Ripley, on the on the other hand, agility, power, speed. Three different styles in one woman. That's impressive, and I'm really looking looking forward to to this match. Um, again, again, much like with. With the NXT title, this match is gonna have the same end result. Justin Duke, Mar Justin Duke, Marina Shafir, they're gonna get involved. Hands down, we all know. Um, 
Also, and as and as I said, there were several matches for TLC that haven't scrapped, including including this one, which in which I was looking forward to seeing. As you guys know, we have zero matches on the card for TLC, and the reason behind it is because of three things. Number one, number one, we just got. We just got through with NXT TakeOver War Games and Survivor Series. The second thing is there are no good storylines to build up for, for, for TLC. And lastly, ooh, excuse me. And, and the last thing is because of, um, ooh, excuse me, ouch. Is because of the annual tribute to to the troops, which will be happening in less than a couple weeks. So I think it's gonna happen like right. I think it's gonna happen on the Wednesday, on like Tuesday or something like that. After after TLC, odds are that could that that could very may well happen. But it could also happen on Thursday, which could happen. They've 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 already filmed it as per Instagram. Um. And, uh, so yeah, so, so yeah, so with that said, um, some of the potential matches that, that, that have been scrapped, um, hold on a sec, guys. Okay, alright, so, so, so some of the potential, um, um, uh, uh, matches that, that have been scrapped are Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley, Bobby Lashley versus Rusev, and then, and then of course, um, also um, the New Day defending the SmackDown Tag Team Titles against Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, the Viking Raiders against the OC for the Raw Tag Titles, and Shinsuke Nakamura versus Braun Strowman for the Intercontinental Title. That match we are not, we're not, we're not so sure about because Braun Strowman isn't isn't involved in in any storyline whatsoever. They're just throwing him, putting him in random matches. Like they did when he was on Raw the first time around. So, um, so this puts puts T this puts TLC at a huge disadvantage because not only that, but we're but um, but there's been rumors that and I'll and and I will explain this further in tomorrow's vid in um in pos in um. In a few in a future video, I might I'm, I might I might do it on Monday. I don't know because the weekend is usually busy for me. So, um, but there's been rumors that that the main pay per views, you know, like TLC Royal Rumble, could take place on pay per view on TV instead of the network. Um, no one knows why, but I um, I will explain that in a in in another video. But in a future video. But right now, um, but yeah. So um, not not only that, but as of now, I mean the I mean the only match. Hold on. <clears throat> Here we are. Um, as of now, the only match that is that is potential that is a potential matchup that could be made well that could that will that will most likely take place at TLC is the Fiend. Um, putting up his universal title against Daniel Bryan. Now there are now there's now there are now there are speculation that that this match could very may well be a TLC match, considering the fact that Daniel Bryan has has had a lot of experience with ladders throughout his entire career. You know he's won the Money in the Bank ladder match. He's won. The last title he won before he retired was the Intercontinental title, and he won that at WrestleMania 31 in Cal in um, in Santa Clara, up north, up north from 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 where I live, and um, you know you, you know you know he's been you know you know he's been a part of quite 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 a few ladder matches in his day so he knows a thing or two about about that type of match at the same time the fiend doesn't know anything bray wyatt knows knows a thing or two about ladders but not the fiend so this will be a very interesting development um and then as and then and then as for for the whole 
you know, the love triangle storyline between Rusev, Bobby Lashley, and Lana, um, that match could very may well just be a, just a typical wrestling match. Um, no, and no one knows why. But, of course, card subject to change. That could all happen, um, in the blink, in, just like that. Um, um, however, though, um, uh, from what, from what I know, um, let me see. Um, there, again, again, there had, again, there hasn't been anything, like, too, like, anything, um, and, again, there has been no matches announced for, for TLC, so they could, so they could, um, So they could, um, they could just, uh, go ahead and, like, I, I, I guess, like, do exactly what they did with Hell in a Cell, and that is announce the matches on the day of the pay-per-view. So, if that happens, it's gonna go south really badly. And if you don't believe me, go watch Hell in a Cell. I predicted, I don't know if I did or not, but I but I predicted that 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 the main event for that mat for that night which was Rollins versus the Fiend inside Hell in a Cell for the Universal Title, I predicted that it was going to go south very badly. I was right. I just didn't know how how bad it was going to be. The ref stopped it. Logic. Um Anyway, so that so yeah. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. There wasn't really much to to talk about. But if I but if I was to predict who would win the matches for NXT, hands down I would pick I, I would I would pick Tommaso Ciampa to win, then have Ciampa win the title, and then and for the and, and then for the women's title Hands down, Rhea, Rhea Ripley. So I I could definitely see us getting new champions because there have been all because also there have been rumors that by the Royal Rumble, by 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 right around that time we could potentially see Adam Cole and Shayna Baszler get bumped up to the main roster. For Shayna Baszler, hands down, SmackDown. Hands down, I would, I would, I could definitely see her be, you know, go on SmackDown, you know, and face off against, against Sasha, Bailey, um, uh, Nikki Cross, uh, Carmella, Dana Brooke, you know, and for Adam Cole, you know, you know, Seth Rollins, Eric Young, um, uh, Rusev, Bobby Lashley, so many, so many candidates for their first opponents. Um, but with that being said, that is that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. And as, and again, if we can get get this channel to a hundred subs, then I will open up this booster box on the channel. If we can get get this channel to uh, to a hundred subscribers, I know it's not much. But to me, it means a lot because I've been because I've been doing this for four years and I've worked so hard to get the channel where it is now, and I'm and, and I'm proud. I'm proud of it. So if we can get get the channel to 100 subs. I will open up this booster box on camera. I know it's not first ed, as you guys can see. As you guys can tell, it is not first ed, but that is perfectly okay. Um, there's there are still some amazing cards in this set. And I would love to open them up. So, again, 100 subs. I will open up this box on camera in one full video. And, of course, too, and of course too, you guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links will be down in the description below. And as, as well as the link to my sponsors, the, the Collector Store, link is down below. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.